Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. So it has been a while since I have done a birthday preparation and decorating video. So Scarlett's birthday is tomorrow and I know you guys really enjoy these videos. I didn't get a chance to film Harlow's because we kept having to move the birthday. There was a lot going on when we did Harlow's birthday, but I definitely wanted to do a birthday preparation video for Scarlett's. The theme of her birthday she wanted this year was Rapunzel. So I'm really excited for this theme. I got everything over here that I'm about to show you guys that I got for her birthday. Also, I apologize ahead of time if I'm sniffling or sound congested. Frank and I recently launched some more products on Simply Edge. We launched our own Valentine's Day tags, which by the time you see this video, it might be too late to order, but we also have our Easter tags. You can get them in different variations, colors, fonts, stains, everything. I'll put some video overlay on this video, but uh, we've recently launched those, so we've been having to sand them, and the dust gets everywhere it like gets in my nose it gets in my eyes it gets in my mouth probably not like the safest thing to be breathing in so i sound and feel like i have allergies right now um but if you guys are interested in checking those out i'll leave our website down below it's simplyedged.com those anyways this is not about simply edge this is about scarlet's birthday party so we are currently cleaning the house we've been doing laundry and now i'm getting ready to start decorating so my plans are I'm gonna make a balloon garland. That is my specialty. I make them every single year for this kid's birthdays, except for I didn't do Harlow's because we were supposed to have it somewhere else. I didn't want to be installing the balloons and setting up for her birthday, so I hired somebody, but then there was a stove storm. Luckily, they were able to come set it up at our house, but I do have somebody coming and setting up balloons outside tomorrow but i am going to make a balloon garland inside uh, so let me first go ahead and show you what i have and kind of like what my game plan is so i got everything from amazon i'm just gonna go ahead and say that i'll leave as many links down below for you guys that i can but everything that you guys see is from amazon so first going through the balloons i got these clear confetti balloons they have the gold confetti and then I'm not really sure if I'm going to use these in the balloon garland yet I might put a few in there the colors are going to be like light purple light pink I think I have some golds or yellow I can't remember I'll show you guys here in a second I have some different colored lanterns I don't know if I'm going to be using all of them but my plan is I'm going to move this table we did this for Harlow's birthday and it worked out really well with the kids but I'm going to move this table and kind of make this the kids table so my plan is is I'm going to hang lanterns since it's going to be like kind of like the centerpiece of the party and have them kind of falling down I'm going to use some fishing lines so that's my plan I got yellow purple and I think pink I don't know where the pink is pink ones are down here and then here's the balloons for the balloon garland I got purple pink this is a metallic purple and then um, I think this is leftover pink ones from her when we had her actual birthday and then some gold ones and then here are the party favors I'm giving all of the kids their own paint set that's one of Rapunzel's favorite thing to do. So I got those and some paint brushes as well. And then this is a fairy curtain light. So my other plan is, so we're gonna have the balloon garland here. I always like to decorate this area because the office is back there and I just like being able to have kind of like a place to take pictures or kind of like separate the two. So I'm definitely gonna put the lights to kind of go with like the lanterns and everything if you guys have seen the movie and then I'm either going to put some ivy like some fake ivy or I got these butterfly garlands to hang down so I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do but that's kind of the plan that I'm going with and then this is a happy birthday sign it's purple and gold and then this is a number three so there's a lot of gold accents oh here goes more balloons for the balloon garland and then i got these lights to go on the table as well to kind of go with the lantern theme and then this is actually going to be rapunzel's hair i'm going to make a donut tower and it's going to have like her hair braided kind of trailing down you guys will see that as well and this is going to go on top of her birthday cake and then i got this for party favors i'm going to put it in a basket and kind of set all the paint in there and then we have the napkins this is the tablecloth i think in here is some glitter like clear glitter cups we have some rapunzel balloons that we blow up ourselves we actually have two helium tanks that we already went ahead and bought 
Here's some more balloons. These are different colored heart balloons. And then here's Scarlett's birthday shoes. She's gonna have her Rapunzel dress and like a Rapunzel headband. It has like long hair coming down with flowers. So that's gonna be her outfit. And then of course I had to get Pascal. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with him yet. Probably put him somewhere on the table. And then over here we have all of the tableware. Kind of looks like plates that you would find in a princess castle. Pink and gold. And then we have the gold silverware. And I think in here is some more cups. So that is all of the decorations. I do have a party box over here with extra stuff. So this has my balloon pump in it. I also have this birthday inflatable that I think we're gonna set up. But I have my pump in here. And then extra ribbon, uh, balloon weights, all the stuff to make the balloon garland. I think that's what I'm gonna start with first because that takes the longest. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is Old Faithful right here that I've used for all of the kids' balloon garlands. I got this on Amazon, I think for like $20. So it was pretty inexpensive. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and blow up as many balloons that I need. Now, depending on your size garland, will obviously depend on how many balloons you'll need. I'm probably going to use the whole balloon tape. This is what it looks like right here. It's basically like a strip of plastic and it has, I don't know if that's gonna be able to focus or not. If you guys have already watched my other party prep videos and you already know how to make one, but I'm just gonna briefly go over it again. So it has little holes that you stick the ends of the balloons in, but I also learned a little bit of a trick when they came and installed Harlow's balloons that I'm going to share with you guys that you guys can do with your balloon garland. But yeah, I'm probably going to use most of this. I do want it to start here and go all the way down here. But first, we gotta blow all of these. But I took six of the smaller balloons. The packages that I got, I made sure to get small ones and big ones. So that's oh, that's the big one. And then here's the small one. So I just blew these up and I took two of them and tied them together. And basically what you're gonna do is just wrap them around like this. Because then we're going to use some balloon glue later to stick them a little cluster of tiny balloons. So I'm probably gonna make two in each color. So two of these in the yellow, two in the pink, and two in the purple. Oh, let me show you guys what Frank's doing right now. Frank's being a good sport. He's putting all of the lanterns together. Those look so cute. Those are so cute. So what we got for those is some fishing line. So we're gonna take this and tie it to the lanterns and then also take some clear command clips put them onto the ceiling and then hang them down with this. a bit of balloons I might end up having to blow up a little bit more I got these little bundles I don't know what they are clusters <laughs> together 
<laughs> we're gonna call them clusters. Frank just got done putting up the background over here and we put the curtain, the light curtain. He put the butterfly garland, the ivy. It ended up turning out really good. So now I'm gonna get all of the balloons together so we can put the balloon garland up. I did some of the bright yellow just to kind of- Give it some color. Yeah, well, it has color, well, but- like pops. Little, little pops of color throughout there. I just put the tape on here and put some actual tape right here to hold it together while I put all of the balloons on it. All right guys, so you'll have to excuse my voice. Once again, I'm still having some kind of reaction <laughs> to the sawdust, but I wanted to mention that even though the balloon garland is actually, it's pretty easy to make. You're just pretty much blowing up the balloons and sticking them in the tape, but it's just so time consuming. So I just wanted to say that, I know I've talked about this before, but if you're going to attempt or try to do the balloon garland, it's gonna take at least, at least a good hour to get together, but I promise you guys it's worth it. Not only are they beautiful, but it's also pretty inexpensive to make them as well. And I also figured out that the professionals, they don't use balloon tape at all. They tie all the balloons together. So I'm gonna have to learn how to do that method because it seems like they take out that extra step of putting the balloons through the tape. So I need to figure out how to do that and then I'll let you guys know once I do. All right, you guys, so I got most of the balloon garland done and I say most because I think I wanna go ahead and put it up here. That way I can see how many balloons I have left. So how we secure it, we've permanently left screws in our walls because we use balloon garlands all the time and we've just left them there. Um, but I would suggest probably getting some heavy duty command hooks and what we usually do is we take some balloon string and put it around the balloon, tie it and kind of like secure it onto the screw or the hook or whatever we're using. So that's like the best way that I have found. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Frank that he always ceases to amaze me with how well he decorates. I don't even think I would have been able to do this with the lanterns. I was thinking about putting like you... one more right here, like a yellow one, that big bigger yellow one like right here. Yeah. But I don't know. You did a really good job, babe. I am really yeah. impressed. Do you need to go out? Do you need to go potty? I feel like it does need that other one right there. The one on the end? Yeah. Yeah. Because of the length the of the table. table. I'm going to move the table just a little bit more that way. Okay. Maybe it needs like one of these um, medium ones right there. Yeah, that, there's one right behind you. To balance it out. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this balloon glue. It's basically little, I don't even know how to explain it. Glue dots? Maybe that's the best way I ex can explain it. Can you guys see that? I know the lighting is awful right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick them onto the balloon and then stick them in random places on the garland.
So I did tell all of our guests that if they want to bring their kids in princess dresses to do that because I wanted a whole bunch of princesses running around. So of course I had to make the boys something as well. So I just found this SVG file on Etsy for a few bucks. It says Princess Protection Agency. You could probably make it on any kind of editing software if you wanted to. But I decided to make them all their own little shirts with my Cricut and then this is how it turned out. I did make one for Frank too, but it ended up shrinking in the dryer. So only Nolan and Fletcher were able to wear their shirts, but I thought it was really cute. So if you have any princess birthday parties and you have some boys as well, you can make them this shirt to make them feel part of it as well. Or if they wanna wear a princess dress too, that's okay as well. So it is currently eight in the morning. I went ahead and put the chicken in the crock pot. This is for part of the taco bar. I don't even know if I mentioned that or not, but we're doing tacos and because it's one of Scarlett's favorite foods. So I have all this stuff over here as well. Um, nothing authentic, but nonetheless, it will be a taco bar. So we're gonna do ground beef and chicken. So all I have in here is salsa, taco seasoning, and chicken breast and I'm gonna cook that on high. So you guys already saw the balloon garland and I set up the table. I'm gonna put all of the treats onto this table, tie a little ribbon there. And this is going to be for the kids. If you guys hear anything, it's Georgia. Um, so this is gonna be for the kids. I'm gonna have cake, cookies, her donut tower on here and cake pops. And I think that's it, and cupcakes. <laughs> we have a lot of treats. Um, this is gonna be for all of the drinks. We do have a stand for this, so later in the day, when the dogs aren't eating or drinking, I'm gonna put that up and put the drinks right here. This light curtain that we set up has a remote. I don't know if I got to show you guys a full view, but this is what it looks like. I haven't raised the curtain, so it's still kind of dark in here. And then Frank set up these lanterns yesterday, and they look so cute. Honestly, he did probably better than anything that I could do. And then here are the party favors. Everybody will get their own paint set and a paintbrush. And then I just tied it with some yarn to resemble Rapunzel's hair. Which, speaking of, I showed you guys this yesterday. That's going to go on the donut tower. And then we hung up this happy birthday sign over the fireplace. I wanted to put some more of that butterfly garland right here to kind of like trail down but we didn't have enough of it. So what's left to do is all the food prep, balloons, which we have the balloons, um, or the helium, so we're just gonna do it here. Pick up the cake, pick up the donuts, and then the bouncy house people will be here a little bit before the party. I think I've gotten questions before on where I keep all of my party stuff. Not only do we have our storage bins full of party stuff, but above our microwave, I have my little secret cabinet up here. That's where I keep all of our drink dispensers, cupcake holders, trays, all of that stuff up there. So really quickly about the food because I wasn't able to talk about it much or explain much the day of the party, mainly because we were trying to get everything together and get all the food made. But like I told you guys, I did a taco bar. So I made some fresh pico and also guacamole. I didn't get to show you guys that but that's why I'm here to do a voiceover. I also made rice and refried beans, and then we had corn tortillas and hard shell tortillas, and then of course, all of the toppings. So I did get a little bit of a clip during the party of that. You guys will see that in a little bit, but I just wanted to mention all the food that we made for Scarlett's birthday, and I will definitely do another taco bar in the future. It was a hit, it was delicious, 
everybody loved it I definitely recommend it especially if you love tacos so I will say I did have a lot of help which I am super super grateful for shout out to my friend Christine and her daughter for helping out with the birthday actually this was Ian's weekend so the kids were with him for the weekend while I was setting everything up as well as Scarlett and Fletcher they were with Frank's mom so that also really really helped because anytime I am getting ready for a party it is chaos especially with the kids all around and it just helps that we were able to get everything together and Frank was doing all the balloons I was doing the food prep my friend was doing the food prep and it all cohesively worked together but here's the clip of all of the food we had lettuce onions tomato limes sour cream cheese like i said guacamole pico i got this little buffet style looking thing on amazon for i think like 50 60 bucks i'll link it down below but it kept all of the food warm i definitely recommend it for parties you can use it for so many different kind of foods um but now i am setting up the table i did not think out the donut tower ahead of time i would definitely recommend trying to find something that you could put in the middle so they aren't constantly leaning over and you can make a bigger tower because throughout the party it kept leaning um, but it was definitely a hit for the kids they loved the donuts they loved all of the treats got super hyper and hyped up on sugar of course like every birthday um, but overall you guys will see some b-roll footage in a little bit it turned out so so beautiful oh and also I put some fresh flowers around the table as well oh my god my voice sounds so terrible in these voiceovers also wasn't able to film them setting up the bouncy house because I was doing a reel on my phone and using my camera to film inside but I wanted to go ahead and insert this because we loved love this bouncy house not only did I love it because it was easy for the smaller kids to get off and on and it's different than like your traditional bouncy houses but also you could be able to see everything that is going on so I will definitely be getting more of these bouncy houses in the future and the balloon garland on the bouncy house turned out so beautiful as well everything turned out amazing Scarlett had the best birthday ever if you guys are in the charlotte area i'll leave the bouncy house people and the balloon people down below they are amazing i will definitely be using them again in the future but that is going to be it for scarlett's rapunzel birthday preparation and decorating video i hope that you guys enjoyed it i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching we did film a cleanup video so that will be right after this one and then now i'm going to be working on a new project this week so stay tuned also for that love you guys and we'll see you in our next video bye